Again, I do wish for a better and fairer world. But all I can do is talk to people, plant seeds. I cannot force humanity to their uh, to their bliss or perfection or fairness even. I can't force anyone, neither can you. All we can do is talk about it and plant seeds. I'm all for fairness, all for not bowing down to every dictator or anything. I'm all for that. I'm all for the individuality and personality. I couldn't stop the Iraq war on my own. Millions of people who protested in Europe couldn't even stop it. But they sure planted the seed because now humanity, society is slowly growing wiser through a lot of suffering, a lot of wisdom came which is really sad we first had to suffer because humanity is obviously that fucking stupid still we still have to bash each, each other's heads in or call each other idiots or show each other the finger because we can't fucking talk we can't reason uh-huh exactly that ugh a rich man, a poor man. We, we all show our two colors to God. Uh, yes, whatever. <laughs> to, to God. <laughs> you to know, God. You're, you're sounding like you belong in one of those movies, one of them wacky guys who I am a wacky you know, assassinates guy. people for the poop. I Life don't, don't quite yet. Now, Maybe. My three questions to in uh, good. What Question number <laughs> one. What's the point of morals and ethics? If there's no judgment by an all-knowing... Uh, because it has to do with the efficiency of the lifeboat. You understand? I, I mean, how can you say there's no point to having some sort of rules about lifeboat life? Because obviously you can make it horribly worse or wonderfully better. Okay, Being in the lifeboat can be really cool or it can be really suck. I agree. And that's why we keep planting seeds in people's minds so that the lifeboat won't be such a mess as it obviously is but forcing people to their luck through law or through jails is not gonna fix shit if we can make people actually rethink that may work depending on who's holding the gun and what kind of stupid rules they make Oh, shit. And creator. And that's just to flesh it out more, basically. Uh, we live flesh and blood lives for sure, okay? This promise of boring heaven is just a promise. And this promise of, you know, threatening hell or whatever. Let's consider that the creator created this world. And I'm pretty sure you don't find life too boring most of the time. How could it be or would it or, or would it have to be impossible for this creator to make an awesome heaven that will never ever be boring? Why do you know? Are you that all-knowing? Are you God? Should I look up to you? And fear you and follow your laws should I bow, bow down to man-made laws to freaking pages and pages of bullshittery should I bow down to the to the war on drugs which is really a war on people should I exclude all the drug addicts as fucking idiots and tr trash them, treat them like crap? Should I bow down to them or you? Or should I be the sane, quote-unquote, of the bunch? Hmm. The, but the thing we do for sure is this thing. And the questions are related to doing this thing. Should we impose unnecessary on each other? Should we get drunk? Should we get drunk and drive? Should we drink and drive? 
I don't impose anything on anyone. I'm a nobody. I have little to no power and little to no responsibility. I'm truly the most nobody you've probably ever met. And that's perfect for me, because I don't want to impose anything on anyone. If anything, I want to make people reconsider. I can plant seeds, and if I planted an okay seed, then God can grow it in people. I can't do shit. I'm weak. I'm broken. I'm miserable. Just like pretty much most, I would say, human beings are. And after all, there are actually good fit human beings that's why jesus came for the broken and not those who are fine he came to heal the sick and it makes perfect sense to me i don't know about you you know should we poison the drinking water should we ruin the environment for the future should we borrow the money from the future no no and no none of these things i do i am the change i want to see in the world that's all I can do. I can't, I don't want to make laws and force others to um, recycle as I do. I do it because I think it's right, but I won't force anyone to do it. But I also eat meat and I think it's okay for me, but I don't eat meat from farms where the animals are tortured and killed horribly. That's not what I do. I check where I get my meat. You see, I can't force anyone to their luck. Neither can you. We can plant seeds, we can talk about it. But laws will never change a thing. Society can try to impose so much shit and it will never get better. It will probably even get worse. Shall, shall we mortgage children, actually mortgage them? <laughs> no, we shouldn't. It's terrible. Okay, and then force them to pay the loan back? I, I mean, those are real questions. That real, real, real answers will affect real people in real lives. It's What's the real answers? I would say it's Jesus. I would say it's to know thyself and overcome your greed and your I'm the first and all live by my rules or whatever. We have to overcome our ego, so to speak, even. That would be a start, but I can only do it by talking to others. I can't enforce it through law or by putting a jail up and saying, yeah, if you... Um, Eat meat, you're going to jail. That's gonna work, yeah. It's not gonna be not real lives that'll be lived based on the consequences of the answers to those kind of questions. If I prohibit alcohol and jail you, if you do drink it or produce it, that's gonna fix a thing. Mm -hmm. That's why it matters, jackass. Who keeps you from killing people or stealing from people yeah it's not god it's it's a, it's just being having integrity and honesty well it's gonna get scary i think are you saying society holds you back i want to see you work or function when everything collapses when society doesn't make the laws anymore and the rules who are go are you gonna fear then or follow then what law are you going to follow then? You're not being a hypocrite. Now, if I don't want somebody killing me because they have some thought in their head, I have to sort of agree not to kill them. So, yeah, you got to do that do unto other thing with some sort of confidence. Exactly. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. That's great. I agree abso freaking lutely And on to part four.